Hi, it's Dale, the Magical Balloon Dude, your favorite balloon entertainer. Today, we're going to be talking about doing pandas with this cool little design that allows you to add things to it. So stay tuned. That's coming up next. Plus, I got bonus material on this. Yes, you're definitely going to want to watch this. Coming up next. Hi, it's Dale Abrakta, your favorite balloon entertainer. Today, we have this fun little design here that we're going to be talking about how to make a panda. In fact, it is a special holiday design that actually shows you how to include a wreath in the panda. This is a special design. I got all special stuff set up for you today on this, folks. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you could use the same design for Halloween, for Christmas, and also Easter. Got some clever ideas, and you're probably going to take it to spots that I haven't even thought about. Like usual, I have my close-up camera right here, and I also have my full-length body cam. Plus, I have my digitizer tablet, which I'm going to show you how to draw on the face. I'm going to show you how to draw the panda face. So this is something special. This is going to be fun. It's going to probably be a little longer than normal, but there's a lot to do on this. So, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click on that subscribe, okay? Let's click the subscribe and start now. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with five different balloons. We're actually going to have all 260s. We're going to have two black, a white, a green, key lime green, and a red. So let me set these off to the side here. We're going to start with the white balloon. Now I've inflated the balloon, white balloon, oh, a little more than halfway here. I have my tail at the end here. And what we're going to do is actually start with the panda's head. Now, you know a panda is black and white, but what we're going to do is start with the white portion. So using about four fingers, we're just going to make a bubble, fold it over again, make another bubble. And then I'm going to use this bubble right here to measure this bubble. And when I get done, I should have three bubbles that are the same. I'm going to take this nozzle and simply twist it around and loop it through. Next, we're going to do the same process all over again. It's going to be approximately those three finger, four finger bubbles. We're going to make them all identical again, and we're just repeating the process. Now, when we get to this point, we're going to wrap it in. We're going to take it, wrap it around, and we're going to have a funny shape like that, so a figure eight. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take these two parts, bring them together, and we're going to roll one underneath the other here. And you're going to have to take a little pull. It's just hard to show, but you can see that one roll over. And you're going to see that we have a double head. This head design came out years ago when I was working on Winnie the Pooh. And Winnie the Pooh has a thick head, small ears. And I realized that I could use a panda's head out of the Winnie the Pooh head. Just recycling here. So now I'm going to take my black balloon, and my black balloon is almost three quarters inflated. I'm going to set this off to the side at the moment. And I'm going to make the first ear. What I'm going to do is simply make a fold. And this is going to be the ear. So I don't want the ear extremely large. I don't want it extremely big. So I'm going to fold it over. And as you can tell, I just take it and I pinch my fingers in there, spin it around, and tie my knot. Now we're doing this more as a decorator twister than we are a line twister. Because line twisters do not like to break a balloon and keep twisting and tying things in. Decorator doesn't mind stopping going, stopping going because they're not under any pressure. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this balloon that we've cut off and I'm going to take one nozzle here and one nozzle here and filter it into this spot. So you can see there's a spot here and a spot here. I'm going to take one of these, slide it in, grab the other one, pull it in, and once I get those two through, I'm going to take and make a knot so that stays on. So I tie those two together, not once, but twice. 
Now, if you're finding that you have a hard time doing this, tying a knot, because you didn't leave enough space, I'm going to show you a trick. For the second one, what I'm going to do is squeeze some of the air out. Squeeze some of the air out, get two, three fingers in there. Now, when I make my knot, you'll notice I have a longer extension. Fold this over. Same size. So these are going to be identical in size. Twist it around. Wrap it. Tie it. Break it off. We're not getting rid of this. This is actually going to be the arms of the teddy bear when we come back to it in a bit. Now we have our two ends. Simply going to take one end, feed it into one side. Take that other end. Feed it through that top again. So one went through one side, one went through the other. And by doing this, I'm making sure that the ears fall into the same spot. The other nice part is the panda's head is thicker than the ears, which really is the case of the panda. So now that I've tied my knots in, I have my knots, I have my panda head. Now, what I want to do is the snout and the back of the head all at once. And I've seen a lot of teddy bears and a lot of pandas where they have the snout look. And it doesn't, to me, feel right because the snout comes out. Then you got this twist. It comes back. So I've learned to avoid that by simply taking and making a fold twist. And the fold twist is going to fit in between this area right here. So what we're going to do is make a fold it's not a huge fold, but it's going to be a fold big enough to fit in. So we take it, we do our spin. So we're going to have this, and we're going to fit that into there. And all I do is I take, do a little pushing and pulling using my fingers. Now that may happen. That happens Sometimes more than I anticipate because I put a lot of air in. I'm just going to take, tie that knot. Do you see how it broke on me? I'm going to show you how I repair it. Again, this is live, folks. This is what happens in real life. I'm not going to stop the video. I'm not going to cut the video and then say, hey, guess what? Here it is from step five. This is what actually happens when you're twisting. So what am I going to do? Well, in this case, I'm going to wrap it around the ear. Then bring it down, in this case, get back to exactly where you are, right here. You can tell, easy fix. Boom, back to square one. Find it, I'm going to get to the same spot you were. Now what I'm going to do is push that through. Do a little adjust here. Now I have my panda head. A little off on my size there, but as you can tell, we have our head. Could have rolled that through maybe one more time, tying it in. It gives it a little lopsided effect. But Now, that's the panda head. We're going to set that to the side. At the very end, I'm going to show you how to do the drawing on it. Now, for the body, we're going to make a thick body here, and there's a reason for doing this. We're going to make a... Oh, two finger, one finger pinch twist, depending on how big you want to make it. This is going to be the neck. Go on my close-up cam. Now, I'm going to do about a hand. It's going to be a, a fairly spread of a hand. So it's going to be, if you want to count a hand and a half, eight fingers, seven fingers. I just kind of spread my fingers out so you have a grip. Hold it down so it's, I don't like that size. I'm going to make it a little larger. Bend it together, twist it in. Now I'm going to measure this side, and I'm going to duplicate the process. So when I'm done, I'm going to have something that kind of resembles this. Get that camera focused better. There we go. Now what we're going to do is take these push one into the other. This is going to be the panda's body. So we have 
Panda's body. Now, the panda's body actually has six parts to it. I shouldn't say six parts. It's got six bubbles. What we're going to do is pull down. Five of them are black. So I measured, pulled it back, slide it through, pull it up, bring it in. Now I'm going to break it off, tie it, and then what I'm going to do is take this end. I'm just going to wrap it around a couple times. So now here's my teddy bear body. Just straightening it out a little. This is my teddy bear body. It's five long ones with two pinch twists on the top. This is where we're going to use the white for the body. Now I'm going to take this part and connect it and twist it right in. Twist it around. There is our neck. Now, this is where we get the belly. Okay. This is where we get the belly. This is where we get the belly. What happened to the other one? I got one more in here. Well, I'll have to find it and show it to you at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this down. Make a bubble. And we're going to put a little pinch twist. Now, this is where we get clever. We're going to do another big three finger, four finger. This is going to be the actual belly. And what I'm doing is I have a bubble, pinch twist, big fold bubble, and then I'm going to do another small bubble. Now bring that down so it gets to the bottom part. Get my camera in focus right here. And what I'm going to do is break it, tie it off. So what I have after I've tied it into the neck is I have one bubble, pinch twist, big loop twist, and a bubble. I take this knot, bring it down. Wrap it around. So now, I'm going to take this little pinch twist. I'm going to slide it to the back and push it in. So now, what my panda has straight on, my panda's got what looks like a normal belly but to the side. It's got a big hump sticking out. This is where we're going to put the wreath. This is where the wreath sits. So when you see the wreath, you can see that the belly of the tummy, whoop, is right here. And it's held in by that. So now we're going to give it the teddy bear legs. Oops. Sorry, we're going to add one more black. I missed a black or I lost a black here in my office. Let me check here. All right, nope, that's, that's the other design I wanted to show you real quick. Bunny with an Easter egg. We're going to put that off to the side. Let's see. I need another black balloon here. Blow this one up again. This is going to be for the legs. So uh, about a half a balloon, three quarters of a balloon. We're just going to loop. Take this, twist it around. Filter it through. So we get a loop. Followed by a pinch twist. Followed by a loop that's the same size. These are the teddy bear legs. Very simple. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to insert that. We have one, two, three, one, two, three. We have six areas. We're going to go behind the first three, which is a black, white, black. We go in between the teddy bear, or the panda. It's a panda, not a teddy bear. And what we're going to do is pull through and make the legs. I'm going to break this off. Do not get rid of this. We're going to use this. Now, at this time, what I want you to do is, see that stripe? Swipe it. No, we're not swiping it. That's the subscribe button. We, we whacked it off. No, we, what I want you to do is actually right now subscribe. If you haven't clicked subscribe, click subscribe. Do me a favor. This video is taking a lot of work. Please click the like. Now, I'm also going to have a link at the very end. These videos are very time-consuming to do. 
because I do a lot of prep and a lot of thought. You're going to see when I pulled out the digitalized tablet, I've done a lot of work on this. I have my ring lights. I got all my setting up here. Well, like you do at the very end is a link. It's a donation link. So if you like what I do, if you're a professional entertainer, do me a favor, click on the donate, donate 10, 20, 100, whatever you want to donate. If you think you're going to be able to get a job off this, click the donate button. If you're a beginner and you're just starting out, hey, click the donate button. If you're a person who just likes doing balloons and you don't get paid for doing it, you don't get a dime, click the subscribe. That's how you pay me back. Click the like button. If you're just a kid who likes watching me make balloons, that is great. Just click the like. But if you're a professional entertainer, do me a favor. Click the link down below. Reach in your pocket. Make a donation because you know you're going to be making money off this stuff. So might as well share the wealth, share the time. You know that 10 bucks you're going to make back 50, 60, 70, 1,000 times throughout your life, Tan, as an entertainer. So with that being said, let me just clean it up here a little. Got some balloon parts hanging around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the arms. Now to do the arms, I'm going to set this off to the side. Make a little bubble. Turn it into a pinch twist. And then we're going to split that bubble. Just grab it and split it in half. That's our arm. Now I'm going to take it down, bend it, squeeze it, let some air out. That's going to form an L shape. Find where I want my elbow to be or my shoulder. That's my arm. Now I have a joint here. If you could see this joint, I'm going to go my close up cam. Right in here, I'm going to take this. And bring this in to that joint. That that was pinch twist right there. I twisted the balloon in. Now I'm going to pull these arms down in between the back bubbles. I'll pull this arm down again and give it a pinch twist. Squeeze some air and that pinch twist and. Sorry about that. Squeeze an air out. I don't know where I'm getting pinch twists from. That's just crazy. Now, what I want to do is twist. I'm going to do bubble. I'm going to split that bubble. And actually, you know what? This worked out fine. I won't even need to use this extra scrap. What I'm going to do is take and break this. And... Now, here comes the fun part. I want to take this leftover, which is hanging on the balloon right here. I'm going to take that and feed it through the center of the belly. That's going to allow me to now wrap it around the other arm. What this does, it actually takes and it pulls the arms in. So you can see it's almost like he's touching his belly now. And I do that because then when I put the wreath in there, the wreath will fit perfectly fine. And I actually did this to, I made a penguin like this, and you can see the penguin. Now, I'll show you how to decorate it at the end of this video. So, make sure you subscribe. All right, I have this. Now what we're gonna do is the wreath. I'm gonna sit panda off to the side, panda stay. Now the wreath, just gonna bend in half. It's gonna be approximately big enough for the belly to fit into. That's my belly size here. Work with my close cam here. So what I'm going to do is just bring this in, tie a knot. Now right now what I'm going to do is a bubble and turn that into a pinch twist. Now you may be wondering why I'm actually doing this. By me doing the pinch twist here, what I'm doing and I'm going to break this off. It's given the spot for, let's slide this under, for the bow to actually rest up against. It's going to rest right here. By it doing that, it's going to sit nice and it's not going to flop to the top. Now, going for a red balloon. Just pull up a red balloon. What we're going to do is just a small piece. And I am going to do... A ribbon, which is a series of two pinch twists together. 
And they're small pinch twists. They're nothing big, nothing crazy. About the same size you did for the panda's neck. There you go. That's the pinch twist. And I'm going to do a little bitty bubble. Uh, let's see here. Little bubble. And I'm just going to pull this down around behind. And all that does, and give it a little spin. Just a, let's see here. It's a little bubble. Pinch twist with a little bubble in between. Now I'm going to take and break off. Because this is what I'm going to use to tie. Bring that in, wrap it around, bring it down. As you can see, it's locked in here, it's wrapped around, and it's nice and set. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little fancy here. I'm going to take a leftover scrap. See, I have a pair of scissors here. I take my scissors, and on an angle. So I have my ribbon here. As you can tell, it's two points. My scissors. Now, feed that in between. And you notice I just looped it in there and I now have my ribbon. And what I'm gonna do now is take a teddy bear, panda bear, I know I hear somebody yelling at me, Dale, it's a panda bear, not a teddy bear. Get those arms to fit just like that. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to draw the face on here. So this is the reason why I'm asking you folks to subscribe because I do put a lot of effort on this and I just went out and I bought myself a digitizer tab. Let me get over to that screen here. And what we're going to do is use the digitized tablet, and I'm going to electronically show you how to draw the eyes. Now, this I've done for a specific reason. The panda I've learned over the years is really difficult to draw, and I don't know why it is. I think it's because of the shapes. Let me get back to my normal cam here while I talk to you. Uh, it's the shape of the eyes, and... It, I have found that that's probably one of the most difficult things I have is doing pandas right. I'm going to use my digitized tablet. It's brand new, so bear with me. It's maybe a little shaky, but hopefully if I do it, right, there we go. Now, what we're going to do is going to come over here, and I'm simply going to draw my eye. And that's my pupil of my eye. Now, I'm going to draw the outside of the panda's eye. Now, I found that if I actually come up, and this is going to be a funny tear shape eye, and I'm going to keep my mouse going. You notice how I kept my mouse going there. All right, let's go. And now, for the second half, I don't. St I do the reverse. I come in and I draw this teardrop. Uh, I correct it because I'll show you why. I'm going to draw outside of the eye, inside of the eye. And this right here is going to be all black. So, and this is the nice part about using, and see, this is where you got to be careful, folks, is right in this area. I found that if I'm going to draw around the eye, I stay with the curvature. Keep that curvature going till I get farther out. Make that eye thicker. And then I just color. And then yes, just like a Sharpie, I could then change it. And I gotta be careful that I don't go too crazy and accidentally draw over the white area of my pupil. Because if I draw over that, there's no way of really getting it back unless I take a white marker and draw on that. But I really don't wanna do that. I want to keep this like real life here. Is when I, I have a white balloon, why do I want to pull out a marker and actually start drawing to it? It's kind of silly. So at this point, I can then come in here. 
Let me fix this up. If my eye seems a little larger or smaller, hmm. I have slightly two different size eyes here, but you're going to have the same thing, folks. It's, I mean, over years of drawing, I have learned that I can get the eyeballs almost the same size all the time. But drew, drawing on the computer like this, not the uh, 100%. I'm not a character drawer or digital person here. I'm learning this skill. This is a new skill I'm picking up. I've always wanted to learn how to draw uh, digitally. So I um, went out, bought myself some equipment. Hopefully you guys will help me fund it uh, by giving me some donations or by giving a donation here and there. This will help me uh, keep going. And uh, this right here is the way that uh, you color in the panda's eyes. You notice right down here I have a little loop. I'm just going to straighten this out. Uh, I'm going to fix this up right here. And uh, I don't want there we go. That looks a little better. And I can control by coming back, like I said earlier, I can control how big my eyes actually are in this process. So I'm going to come over here, do the coloring again, just to fill it in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on this, and I actually have to move down here. You just grab your image, or your image, you just grab your teddy bear. And now we're going to do the nose. Now, for the nose, I want the nose to be a little farther down. So I'm going to come in, and I don't want to do it right up here. I want my nose somewhere around here. So what I'm going to do is get my layer activated here and I am going to then draw my nose. Look at that folks. Look at that beautiful circle. Man, I hope right now you have clicked on the notification button right there. Because that was a darn good circle for using a digitized tablet. You guys should be impressed with that. You should be like a Wow, look at that. Do me a favor. Leave me a comment. If you thought that was a great circle, leave me a comment. Right now, go leave leave me a comment. Give me some encouragement, folks. Tell me that was a great circle. If you didn't think it was a great circle, oh well. Uh, but yes, this is the way you color. I'm sure you have probably sat there with a marker coloring these circles in here and shaping them up. Now, what we're going to do is the mouth. All right. Now, the mouth comes down. And what I'm going to do is come down, split it, and do a hook. Coming back from this spot, you do a hook. There is the panda's face. It's not hard to do. It's simple. It's easy. Let me back out here. Let's see here. Let's scroll down. Let me zoom out here if I can. Let me go here for a second. All right, let me zoom out. All right, as you can tell, we've zoomed out here. You can see what the teddy bear face looks like. You notice the eyes are a little off. At this moment, if I want to come back in, let's zoom in here a little. I'm going to go back up and just fix up those eyes a little. I don't like how this one is bigger. Again, this is what you could do, folks. You have a marker. You could take the time out and go back and simply, let me get my marker here. I mean, it's easier if I use my mouse to get over there. There we go. That's fine. My tab. Okay. And this is where I can then, oh, go crazy. Let me do that again here. I got my tablet crooked. All right. Let's get my tablet straight here now. Where's my, all right. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down. I'm just going to draw outside. All right, I'm just making that wider there. There we go. And just slowly. Again, folks, you can do this with your markers. You can fix an eye. As long as you, it's always easier to start smaller and work a little bigger, except when you're doing the eyeballs. Eyeballs always make your eyeballs bigger. 
I've learned these spots out here, they look better if they're larger. So there we go. And you know what? I still don't like, again, I'm a perfectionist, folks. I like to see my drawings here. and I like to see them look cool, even if I'm doing them digitally. Oh, let me see here. I'm going to get my tablet right. Oh. All right, I'm just going to fix this. Yeah, and you're wondering how I'm going to fix it. I'm just going to redraw. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, there's some point where you got to say just stop because if I go any farther, it's just going to go crazy. So there we go. And they're panda eyes, so they don't have to be identical. Now, what we're going to do is actually talk about the wreath here. And let me jump to my big screen here. Where's my mouse? Okay, there we go. Jump to the big screen. I'm going to show you on this one over here. And this is just one of the ideas that I've come off with it, actually doing a penguin, which, again, same body structure. What we're going to talk about is doing the leaves here. And a lot of people forget that Sharpie makes two type markers. This is a standard marker that everybody uses. It's the standard tip that they call fine. And then they have the, what is it, ultra fine, which is the really small tip. And this is what I use to actually do like the holly. And I'm going to show you how to do the holly. The holly's not difficult. It's just something that you've probably never thought of drawing. If you could draw circles and a couple squiggly lines, you're halfway there. So let me do this here. I need to get to my side here, do a couple things electronically. All right, whoop, there we go. Move up, move up, move up. There we go. Zoom in a little. Whoop. Now, I'm gonna actually change my pen thickness because if I am drawing this, I would actually be using the extra fine tip for the wreath instead of my normal Sharpie, just because it's too thick. So I need to go in and electronically change my font size. Let's see, give me, let's try a three. Oop, that's a two, I want a three. Let's see, where's my keyboard? There we go, three. All right, now I'm gonna come in over here. Where am I? And I need to get my drawing tool selected. And what I'm going to do now is get my layer ready to draw on. Okay. What is. Come on, mouse. The reason my mouse is uh, driving me crazy because I have two screens here and my digitizer tablet. It's split in half now, so half of it wants work on one screen, half works on the other. So here we go. What I'm going to do is simply draw my circle. And what I'm going to do is draw another circle. And then my last circle. So I have a clump of circles here. And now I'm going to go out. And notice how I'm doing a, let's call it a rectangle box, but it's, or points. Let me draw this again. It comes out, and it's like a swing out, swing again. I'm going to do this one with a point. I swing back in, and there we go. Watch that again. I do a circle, 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 swing out two, three, come back, one, two, three. Again, one, ah, I went crazy on that one, so I'm just gonna come back. One, two, three, point, come back, one, two, three. All right, let's draw one over here. One, two, three, one, two, three, boom. Now that sometimes they're not as pretty as I would like them to be, but folks, it's decorations. It's holly. 
okay if you could do this I mean look at me I'm doing this I'm doing it on a digitized tablet which is not easy to do try this again one two three out boom boom try that again one two point 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 all right I'm gonna scroll my screen just a little down here one two three one two three one two three Again, they don't have to be perfect because this is just small decoration that adds that extra little wow effect. What you want to do is try keeping everything approximately the same size. You notice I haven't gone too crazy on sizes here. At least I don't think I have. And now with the magic of computers here, I'm going to fill mine in. You've probably have been doing this with a black marker, which I'm suggesting. I'm going to go now and pretend like I have a white marker or excuse me, a red marker. I need to pick my colors here. Whoop. All right, I got red and I'm going to just fill these in. So what I'm going to do is fill these little hollies in. Isn't it cool what you could do with a computer? Oh! I don't want to do that. Oh, well, it wasn't done right. Let's see, where is it? Where's my mouse? Where am I? All right, let's try this one. Talk big, and then all of a sudden, boom, I screw up the whole design there. There we go. Oh, another one. I didn't close off the uh, design here when I pushed them together. Let's see, is it this one? Let's see. There we go. Now I'm going to select the red. I'm going to get red here in a moment. Actually, green. Hello. Come on, give me a. I don't want that object. Oh, there it is over there. Wrong screen. Now, I'm using, if I had a green Sharpie, this is what my green Sharpie would look like. I would just take it in here and paint this green. And we're going to back out in a moment, folks. You're going to see how this looks. You're going to be like, wow, I can do that. Of course you could do that. You're going to be saying, Dale, this is the greatest, easiest thing I've ever done is painted holly. I've never drawn holly before. I didn't realize it was this simple. Ooh. There we go. Why did I? There we go. All right, let's zoom out here. All right, and there's our panda. Let me actually shrink this panda down in size here so you could actually see it on the screen here. Whoop, oh, let me see. Let me see how I could do this. Got it set up here on the web. And let's see, there we go. We have our face and we have our panda. Reality. What's going to look like? Finish, finish one we did together. That's the final results, folks. When you use marker, this I did. This was the one that I actually put up on uh, Instagram. Now, as I said, hopefully you click the subscribe button again. If you're a professional, if you're a professional entertainer, I hope like heck you click on the donate button because you're making money off me, and this is the time give paybacks. Why? Because look, if you know how to do a penguin, you could turn that into something like this. Real simple, real easy. Now, I told you, what happens 
at Halloween. Look, check out my zombie. I gave you instructions on how to do a zombie. Look, I've taken the simple zombie that I do with its feet. And I've now put pumpkin with it. Easy to do. Now, for those people who want Easter, look, Easter Bunny, you have two, you have three, you have four designs in this one video, plus I showed you how to draw this. My name is Magical Balloon Dude, Dale, your favorite balloon entertainer. Definitely make sure you click the like button, click the subscribe button. It's what it's all about. So that's it till the next video. You guys have a great time. Remember, subscribe if you're brand new. If not, make a donation or better yet, click the like button. Do me a favor, leave me some comments. What do you think of these designs? Do you like them? Do you see where you could use them? Did I forget a design that maybe you could use? Give me some comments. Would love to hear from you. What's your favorite marker? Tell me. All right, I'm out of here. You guys have a great day. You have fun. Bye-bye. Do me a favor, subscribe to this channel right now. Better yet, find the bell, click on the bell, and be notified with all the new videos. Or if you're an Instagram junkie, make sure you follow me on Instagram.